internet universe. So today I'm making a little video for my YouTube channel. So today's topic is not really my usual ranting about the craziness that is going on around us. This one is more of a public service um, announcement. Uh, and it's in regards to medical alerts and things like that. So I don't know if a lot of people are aware of this, but you know those little cute yellow stickers that you know you put in the car baby on board and pretty much every iteration of that sticker is not just because the parents are super proud that they have a baby on board it is actually and it was designed and it's meant to be a medical alert um, the idea being that if somebody like me and uh, in EMS, you know, EMT, comes to the scene and the parents are not coherent or something like that, that we are aware that there is a child, that there is or was a child in that vehicle. Because believe it or not, it, it has happened in the past where, you know, there's no indication um, that there was a child traveling in the vehicle and you might say well are they traveling without a car seat like isn't the car seat a, a, a red flag well not necessarily because mom could have gone by herself to do grocery shopping and not have the kid you know what I mean like there's 20 different scenarios um, that can go wrong so seeing baby things in the car seeing a car seat yes for EMS obviously it, it, it's gonna kind of like set up um, some red flags but when you see that baby on board um, sign it's definitely uh, a hey please be aware there is an infant you know toddler traveling in this vehicle and you know if, if they're not within the vehicle or the parents cannot provide information that at least you can find the child and give medical attention to the child. Um, on the same light, I've been seeing new ones that I think are very clever, very needed. Um, most recently I saw one that says um, there is an autistic passenger in this vehicle. And I thought that was so amazing. And I know it's difficult as parents because it is not something you you necessarily feel comfortable with sharing with everybody. Um, being that it's there's so many narrow-minded people out there. But to, to have this sticker, it brought me back to a case that I had um, early on as an EMT. And we went out to a home and the child was unresponsive initially it was a pretty scary call we got there um the child is autistic nonverbal um you know very severe autistic pretty low on the spectrum and while we were transporting we couldn't bring mom in the ambulance because mom had two other children in the home and nobody else that could really you know step in into in that situation so we're transporting this child in the ambulance with very little information not knowing how he expresses pain if he is ex experiencing pain not knowing if he's tactile if you know so we 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 were operating from you know we very little um, and it made me think like my god you know if if this would have happened in a in a car accident and mom is knocked out or something like that and EMS doesn't know and you see a child that's not talking to you as a first responder your head is not going to be thinking hey they might be nonverbal they, they they might be autistic or you know Honestly, we're gonna think they have a concussion or something very 
serious is going on with them. It, you know, and, and that could change the outcome um, significantly. So when I saw that sticker, it kind of made me happy because I said, you know what? Um, people are catching on to how important this, these things are. And, uh, you know, the fact that there are so many of us that are neurodivergent and have certain specific needs. So I, I feel that everybody should have medical alerts with them. Um, as first responders, we do look for them. Um, we are trained to look in your wallet for a list of medications, for allergies, to look at your phone, to, um, you know, we're, even tattoos. Like, we'll look because some people will have a tattoo of their blood type, of allergies, things like that. So we do look for things like that. So um, there is something to say about having medical alerts. You know whether it's in your car bracelet phone or something like that because you never really know what situation you can find yourself in and it doesn't even have to be a medical situation it could be something as simple as getting pulled over you know if if you have a passenger that suffers ptsd then you get pulled over by by a cop that might trigger an episode and if that is you know posted or the cop is aware it can change outcomes if if it says you know there's a an autistic person uh, on the vehicle same thing you know you're getting pulled over by the police or something like that it, at least they go in the mindset that hey there's i'm gonna interact with somebody that might be really scared might be triggered by my presence you know might be fearful of me and it could change outcomes like ultimately it could definitely save lives um and, and you know like i said not only on the medical aspect of things so if you fit into any of those scenarios if you're somebody that has allergies special medical needs um if you have any type of mental health um, or, or behavioral disorder, things like that, please, please, please consider having a medical alert um, tag, whatever is easier for you to have, whether it's posted somewhere in your vehicle where it's, um, you know, easily accessible and, 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 you know, people can see it in your wallet, in your phone, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Even with pets, believe you know that that is incredibly useful. Um, I I have transported already people with you know the keychain saying, "Hey, my pets are alone at home. Please call whatever number." You know, it, it comes in in handy because you know we live in in a world where you know people are living alone more frequently or. or far away from their families it, it, commuting like like for example like me you know like I have a 45 minute commute from work to to home so god forbid you know anything that happens in in that window of time if first responders know and and have access to information you know the outcomes can can change um drastically the uh, same thing, you know, service animals, emotional support animals, if, if, you know, if you suffer, if you're epileptic, all of those things, and, and we do look for them. So, again, you know, if you, if you have, if you fit in that description of, of this video and this topic, um, please consider um, getting yourself that. Encourage other people to do that especially the one for children i i think that definitely um it, it it's stroke a chord for me uh, the one with the autistic passenger because you know it, it is very difficult um to come as an emt and into a scene that's chaotic to begin with and if you don't know and the parents are not there, can can explain or 
whatever the case might be and the child you know they're not answering they're not making eye contact they're not following commands my mind is already in a whole different different clinical setting than if somebody says well he's autistic then i i can kind of like poof you know bring it back down a little bit and assess um with with different tools so yeah it is it, medical alerts definitely life-saving definitely very important to have um so yeah encourage and educate family friends on the use of them um it, it trust me um it, you're never gonna regret it and hopefully you never have to use it but you know in the event and because life is unpredictable it's a it's a very neat tool so if you have any comments or any ideas in regard to this and how to you know how first responders can deal with situations like that or you've had that experience please feel free to share and comment on the video um, watch share and subscribe and I hope everybody has a beautiful day stay safe stay healthy and I'll be talking to you guys soon.